and gentlemen, I'm Clutch, and it's time to get real with Jim Rayner himself. Mr. Robert Clotworthy, presented by Bic Flex 4 Razors. I think there's a couple Jim Rayner fans out there. Robert, I had the pleasure to interview you at E3 when I found out that I would be able to interview you again here at Anaheim to have so many people here that are here to see StarCraft II played at an eSports competitive level. Gotta say, sir, it's a pleasure once again. First off, my question is, what influenced you to be an actor? Well, let me first say, this is Jimmy. <laughs> Seems like old times already. So what was your question again now? <laughs> it was what influenced you to be an actor, to oh. be able to execute such incredible voice work like that. Yeah, well, you know, I started um, when I was, I guess, 14, 15 years old. I was always pretty precocious as a kid. I really couldn't decide one thing that I wanted to do when I grew up. So by being an actor, you get to pretty much do everything. I mean, I've played doctors, lawyers. First of all, let me mention that a lot of people think I don't look like Jim Rayner. I would have to agree. I think I kind of look more like his accountant or his lawyer. <laughs> but inside, I got the spirit of Jimmy. <laughs> when you first received the phone call from Blizzard to voice a character for StarCraft, what was your initial reaction? Well, the first thought, of course, this was back in 1997. And uh, I guess my first thought was, what is Blizzard? Uh, who is StarCraft? And how much am I going to get paid? <laughs> but uh, I, I'm telling you, it's, it's absolutely an honor and a thrill to be able to play the role of Jim Rayner and to see what this has grown to. I mean, I remember back in 1997 sitting with a guy named Chris Metzen, who some of you may know, and he showed me some crude drawings of Jim Rayner on a vulture bike, and he gave me this concept, this idea of what StarCraft was, and I kind of looked at him and I thought, this guy's a little bit nuts. But nuts in a good way, and I'm so glad that I uh, became a part of it because it's been a hell of a ride. What is the creative process like as an actor voicing a character? And there are some sh obstacles, differences compared to film and television. You know, you stand in a booth, you have a microphone, you have a script, you can't really talk with other actors sometimes. What is it like? Yeah, I mean, technically it can be a little bit challenging because when we go in to record for StarCraft, and by the way, I was in recording with Trish Helfer who's playing Sarah Kerrigan, who I think really rocks the house, doesn't she, Sarah? And, uh, you know, it's, it's rare that we get to go in and work together, and that's always a thrill. But generally, we're working by ourselves. And that's why it's important that we have a really great director like Andre Romano or Chris Metz in there who's really going to keep us honest. But it's like any type of acting. You really need to start from a truthful place. You need to understand the story, what the character, who your character is, and how he fits into that story, and make sure that the choices you make as an actor uh, complement the story, and that's why it's important for Chris to be there to tell me when I'm doing something right or when I'm doing something wrong. How has the industry changed from the 1990s to today being 2012? Uh, I mean, it's like night and day, because back then, it was a much smaller game. Uh, you know, it was, the, the industry was much younger. Now the stakes are so much higher. You think about the money that's being invested into these games. I think the announced budget of, um, Wings of Liberty was somewhere around $100 million. I mean, that's a lot of cash. So the stakes are much higher, the, te the uh, technology has improved, and that's why it's so much more important to get really good voice actors. Hopefully, you know, I do an okay job as Rainer. <laughs> Jim Rainer, come on, guys. This is the reason why we play this single player campaign. He does a fantastic job. I mean, I hear a lot of people really grown up with me. They probably listen to my voice saying, Rainer here, <laughs> you know, thousands of time, or this is Jimmy. And it's, it's really an honor to, uh, to meet everybody and to be a part of this. It really is a thrill. 
How did you feel when so many fans rallied behind you once StarCraft II was announced to have you return as the character of Jim Rayner? It was really pretty humbling because, and I'm sure most of you know, you know, back in 98, he did the game and years go by. And when they announced that they were going to do the second chapter of the series, I was basically, had, you know, I had to audition like everybody else. I had to win the role back. And uh, the internet community really got on board, started a write-in campaign, really wanting me back. And when I got the opportunity to go in there and work with Blizzard and audition with Chris and Andrea, I was able to get the role. And I got the role the way that an actor wants to get the role, by auditioning and legitimately winning it. And uh, Blizzard's been very gracious. It's, it's been a wonderful experience. What has inspired you to make such a personal investment in your character, Jim Rayner, outside of the game? For example, your charity events, being here at MLG Anaheim. I'm sure it's the, the crowd and the fans, but, and we appreciate you for it, but why have you embraced Jim Rayner outside of the game? Well, I mean, my journey has been similar to Rayner's in a sense that I had the role and I lost the role. It's like Rayner having Kerrigan and then losing Kerrigan and having to fight to get her back. And one thing that I really wanted to be a part of and that I missed out in the first game was the experience, the community. And I said to myself, if I get this role again, I want to make sure that I put myself out there because if I wasn't Jim Rayner, I'd be playing the game. I mean, I'm a fan of it. I just happen to have a pretty cool job. <laughs> I mean, but everybody has Jim Rayner in him. And if they don't, you're striving to get that strength, that determination, that drive. And I understand how important the character is to a lot of people because when I was not going to do the role, I would get emails from people who would let me know how impactful the character had been for them personally. And I took that very seriously. And I said, you know, there's not that many great role models out there. And Jim Rayner is a really good one. The story is fantastic. The characters are incredible. The saga is beyond belief. And look at what has happened. Look at this. I mean, this is amazing. We've got thousands of people here, millions of people around the world playing this game. Who wouldn't want to be a part of it? I mean, I'm happy to be here. Come on. Well, I have two more questions for you. One of them is from one of your fans I posted on Reddit, letting everybody know that I would be interviewing you. His name is Alex Wilhelm, and he asks, how many takes until you get a line perfect? <laughs> well, it all depends. Like, for example, when we're working on, the, uh, on, the, on StarCraft, I'm basically working in a vacuum. I, I don't get in an entire script. I may just get a line and maybe the line that leads into that. So, for example, let's say the line is, Tychus, what have you done? Now, I don't know what he's done. If, did he bake me a birthday cake? Am I happy? Tychus, what have you done, right? Or did Tychus just kind of lose it in his diaper? You know, and he's kind of stinking, it's like, Tychus. Ah, oh, hail, Jimmy. Yeah, Tychus, what have you done? And then they say, no, 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 no. What's happened is Tychus has betrayed you. And then you start thinking, OK, what's my gut reaction? First of all, I'm pissed off. But at the same time, I'm really hurt. But I realize that there's danger here, because I've almost got Sarah in my arms, but there's one obstacle. So it's. So that's where I come up with, Tychus, what have you done? Because I'm shocked, right? And that leads into Tychus saying, do you know the line? <laughs> Something about, I made a deal with the devil. I made a deal with the devil, Jimmy. And yeah, and then it comes up for, for Jimmy, I think the most critical line in the whole, um, uh, whole game where it personifies what he's about. Because you see him kind of, 
you know, go for his gun a little bit slowly. He's got to hold in his anger a bit because there's a job to be done. And, he's, and it's almost reflecting to himself when he says, we all got choices to make. Because, th thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> well, I didn't realize the line had that much impact. People really enjoyed it. <laughs> the, uh, you know, it really personifies what Jimmy's all about because Jimmy is about making choices and living by those choices and living by the hard choices. And so that's why that line was so impactful because it has so much meaning. And it really tells me as an actor what Jimmy's all about. Now you're here. This is quite different than being in a booth in front of a microphone. You're in front of so many fans here for eSports. So, Mr. Clotworthy, what would you like to say to all of these fans here and to everyone watching around the world as Jim Rayner? Well, first of all, I want to thank MLG. Thank you. <laughs> I want, to, I want to thank Katie Goldberg and uh, people at MLG for inviting me down here. I want to say thank you to the fans. Because if it wasn't for the fans, none of us would be here. I also want to thank my good buddies over at Blizzard. I know it's frustrating sometimes because the game doesn't come out quick enough for us, but uh, I'm telling you, we only put the game out when it's ready. So I want to thank Andrea Toys and everybody over at Blizzard. But the main thing I want to say is there is one man who really personifies Jim Rayner. There's one guy who without his vision, without his dedication, without his commitment to seeing it through, none of us would be here. And that's a man I call my boss. He's also my good friend, and that's Chris Metzen. And let's all remember that we got this far by leaning on each other. And there's one thing I know. Some things are just worth fighting for. Raiders roll. Ladies and gentlemen, the voice of Jim Rayner, Robert Clotworthy. Thank you so much, sir, for all of your hard work and talent. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, it is Violet versus Puma. Stay tuned.